What's up guys? Today I wanted to go over something that I get questions on all the time and that is everyday carry. Uh, what I'm carrying, why I carry it, things like that, my belt, my, my pants, all that stuff. People ask me constantly what I am carrying or what I have on my body because they want to better their own version and they think that if they know what I use it's gonna it's gonna help. Now this prompted me to make an article as well on my blog on my website so check it out if you'd like uh, links below but one of the the things I, I've realized is video is is a better way to capture people because they rather watch something and listen to it than read it um, but I did both so enjoy um, <laughs> the one thing I, I like to get across in any class or when anybody's asking me something about what I do personally or what I do uh, for myself is that we're all different, right? We, we all have different hand sizes, body shapes, body sizes, uh, weights, all that stuff and, and lifestyles in general. So what works for me may not work for you, but knowing more about somebody else's ideas and ideologies on certain things and what they carry may help you in the long run understand what you should look at or what you may be wanting to carry. So here comes this video. Um, <laughs> one, of the, one of the big ones, um, other than the differences between people, is that some people do not like to um, be uh, encumbered by too much gear. And I get that. I like being minimalist to an extent as well. But there's a certain fine line between minimalism and being prepared for certain events or certain occasions. Um, one of the big things that I don't skimp on is my firearm and my ammo and also my flashlight and tourniquet. The other things can kind of, they, they kind of weary on or, or change throughout the day or th change through days or occasions and stuff like that. So big one that, uh, that I get asked a lot is, um, what do I carry? Right? So I carry a full size G 17. Um, nothing crazy about it. This is my agency arms gavel edition and carry it with my arm R and full on flashlight, my X 300. That is the thousand lumen version. And people gawk at me when I carry something this big, but guess what? I get the best grip on it with my hand size. I get the best abilities to carry my flashlight that I would rather have. I don't use one of those little tiny lights that uh, don't do shit. And then my RMR. Three big pieces of the puzzle on my gun that actually helped me a lot. The other thing is the threaded barrel is there because I use a suppressor quite often and not really for carry often. I do carry it every once in a while. <laughs> if you follow me on social media, you see little glimpses of that, but uh, mainly it is because it works for me. Also, my lifestyle allows it. So because I wear a t-shirt most of the time, shorts or pants and stuff, um, I, I'm very casual dresser. I, I don't need to wear suits every day. I don't have to wear a dress shirt. Um, I don't have to get ready for work per se in the same fashion others do with a nice uh, corporate noose or anything. So I, I tend to be able to carry what I want to carry. Um, now, that being said, I don't wear super, super tight shirts. This one's a little tighter on me per se, but it's not really tight. It drapes pretty well. Um, this is also one of my shirts, by the way. Um, the other thing is that uh, people don't like to dress around the gun. They they rather dress the way they normally do with their skinny jeans or tight shirts and stuff. And they carry its tiny little 42 or something, uh, Glock 42, which is a 380. So don't do that. No, I'm kidding. If that's what you need to do, you need to do it. But if you don't need to do it, why do it? So some people have the argument that it's more comfortable. And I get that. Uh, comfort's a big thing in our society where we want to be comfortable all the time. We want to live a comfortable life. We want to be comfortable financially and, and everything. But what is more comfortable shooting that little 42 or shooting a G17? And personally for me, shooting them, <laughs> that little gun is actually really uncomfortable to shoot can't manipulate the little buttons, things like that. And 
and if I have the choice, I'm going to carry a big gun. The other thing is the cap capacity of the firearm is something that comes into play for me as well. Um, not to say that I'm waiting for a huge gunfight or anything like that, but I like to have more because why have less when you can have more? Um, there is a certain time and a certain place where those things, or at least having more, is important. Another portion to it is how you're going to carry it, right? Uh, other than just the shirt, um, going up a shirt size or, or finding a shirt that works with it or finding tuckable clips for your holster, things like that come into play, but there's tons of resources for that. And once again, I'm a resource. You can come to me. I tuck in my shirt every once in a while with a suit and I still carry a full, full size gun. So um, refer to things that you need to refer to. One of the other things that, that come into play is your pant size and belt selection, right? So pant size, I usually go up a size. Um, yes, people look at me funny and they're like, oh my God, John, you, can, you, you wear a size 34, you look smaller than that. And that's cool, that's fine, because I wear a 34 because I have shit to put into my pants. So other than a full size gun, I carry my mag inside the waistband as well. So being that I have that extra few inches of of girth to me, I need extra size, right? So one of the one of the other parts to the the clothing selection is that belt, right? We we need a belt that works and that will hold your gun, but also not be too stiff, depending on how you feel about it. Uh, I've had the Ares gear uh, Aegis belt before, and I still have it. Um, it's really rigid, but it works for a lot of other things like a lot of outside the waistband stuff. The, my go-to usually is a blue force, or I'm sorry, a blue alpha gear inside the waistband belt or a storm rider gear inside the waistband belt. Both of those belts to me are at the perfect, like rigidity to give, I guess you can say, of the belt. So you can still bend it. You can still um, manipulate your body when you're running or doing other things. And it's not cutting into you when you sit down and stuff, if that if that makes sense for you guys. Um, one of the big reasons people don't wear rigid belts is because they, they push into you or they, they hold your pants open and it looks funny. No, but but really it's because they, they dig into you, it's uncomfortable, it doesn't bend with your body when you're doing things. So it's something to think about, right? Then going into it, right, we, we pass the firearm now and, and, uh, and the clothing selection, but how do I carry my firearm? So I like to use an Armadillo Lux. Now the Armadillo Lux is, uh, conceptually it was made by myself and Booth from Armadillo. And it was based off of the Lux, or I'm sorry, the Exfer that I really like, the Exfer, the one that just covers the light. And it works really well, but I'm a shooter. I'm not gonna just carry with one holster and shoot with another, it, it doesn't make sense to me. So I want something I can train in all the time and still carry in all the time. So I needed something to cover the hot slide, hot barrel, hot comp, whatever it would be. So I was like, hey, Booth, why can't we do this? And he was like, son of a bitch, we can do that. So, <laughs> so we came up with the design and this is, this is the second version of it. And uh, I'm looking forward to version three that should be out. Now, the, uh, the other good part about the Lux is that it accepts multiple firearms. So if I decide to carry with something different other than a G17 or G19, I can put that light, whatever the light is that I have for this Lux, which is a Surefire, onto whatever gun and it'll fit nice and easy. I like that. So options. Right next to my gun, I carry a spare mag. And my spare mag pouch right now is still a Guncraft um, but he's out of business or he, he closed his, his doors recently. So you can't really get these anymore. And a good alternative is CJP Custom Concealment. He makes a nice deep holster like this, or mag pouch, I mean, and, and does the job of carrying your mag nice and deep like. So reason I like it nice and deep or a deeper type of concealment with my mag is not because I'm trying to hide it better, is because I like longer mags. So whether I'm carrying a 19 or a 17, I use the longest possible mag I can, which is a 17, plus a five or six round, depending on what you can fit in there, uh, Arredondo, um, 
base pad. So they just came out with those 24 round Glock mags as well, which I'm trying out and playing with, and I'll probably start carrying that one too. But longer mag means more ammo, obviously. And the other portion to that is, hey, it doesn't add any extra length if you do it right, so why not? So I'm not gonna carry just the G17 mag and limit myself minus five rounds or so. Instead, I'll go ahead and add a base plate and use a deeper mag pouch and it gives me all the, all the happy place. Also, I like to carry it up front, uh, right next to my, my gun. Two reasons for that. One, there's a gap, why not? And two, it evens out my carry. So my gun's on this side, my mag's on this side. It's nice, it, it evens it out for me personally. The other thing is, as you've noticed, I don't use one of those together mag pouches, like those sidecars and all the other copycats and all that bullshit. Uh, I don't like those. One, because if they're attached, right, I can't do anything with them. Now there are flexible ones that are nice, which lets you move around a little bit, but the ones that are connected, that becomes a nice little diaper for you to carry. Um, the other problem is peeing, all right? I don't know I don't know what these dudes are doing to pee, but I've seen plenty of guys take their holster off to take a piss because they can't get to their their uh, little privates with, uh, with the holster in the way, all right? That's stupid. I can part these on my belt and have plenty of space to get my thing through so I can do my business. Think about that. So those are kind of my considerations on holster stuff and a little bit of ranting, sorry. But moving on from there, right, we have a few things that, that I like to consider, right? Where my stuff is in my pockets, right? For my right front pocket, right, I like to keep my wallet, my chapstick, my pen, and my Leatherman, right? Sounds like a lot of shit, but it's some of them's clipped on, some of them's in the pocket. Now, my wallet, I've, I've recently switched to one of these fancy like adult wallets that have a little lever. It's kind of nice. I can pull out my stuff real easy. Um, it also unfolds so that I can keep certain cash, uh, business cards, my Ranger coin, and my lockpick set in there. And uh, I, yes, I carry lockpicks because fucking life deems them sometimes. Ask some students that have been in class with me. I've unlocked some doors um, <laughs> to include car doors. Uh, not with these lockpicks though. Um, the other thing I keep in my pocket is chapstick. And this one's kind of worn and all that jazz, but chapstick has a few different uses, right? I can start fire, I can do some med stuff with it, uh, dried skin, also obviously for the lippies, keep these things nice and plush. Um, <laughs> but mostly it's because it it helps me, all right? It's, it's something to keep me comfortable. Remember, we want to be comfortable too. Um, the other portions to it is I carry a pen of some sort. Um, usually it's just one that I like to write with. If it's steel, it's a plus added little, uh, pokey pokey thingamajiggy. And I like to carry a Leatherman. So one of the things that a lot of people, uh, dog me on is because I don't carry a folder or I don't carry a, um, fixed blade anymore. Really. Uh, I haven't found a fixed blade that I really, really like to carry either, but I carry a folder mainly because one, I use it for utility. I carried one in the military. Uh, I'm sure most military dudes carry one or have one on their kit. And there's a reason for that. You need tools in your life. So the pliers, the little screwdriver portion, and the knife I use daily. So <laughs> because I use those kind of tools daily and because I was using my folding knife, the tip of it, as a screwdriver and fucking it up, I decided, hey, why keep doing that instead just carry some kind of little tool. And uh, I found the Leatherman Skeletal tool to be absolutely what I need. Now, if I need anything more than that, I, I can go to the tool drawer, tool bag, and, and get that stuff out. But overall, it's, it's nothing fancy. It is just a little tool to have for cutting boxes, screwing things in, and uh, pliering stuff, if that's what pliers do. Um, the other pocket, or my front left pocket, I keep my tourniquet, and my pair of nitrile gloves um, and make sure that I change out those gloves often, okay? Every time I clean guns, I use that glove or those gloves and I replace them with new ones to keep them nice and fresh. Nice little tip. The other thing is I carry a really, really bright light. 
or as bright as I can get that is functional, right? So I like this Surefire, uh, this EDCL 2T, whatever uh, awesome nomenclature there, but I like a really bright light. There's multiple reasons for that come to a low light class. Um, one of the one of the big things is I, I see a lot of people they use they, they carry a, uh, um, a not so bright light right for a task light and I get that you want a task light but guess what all of our smartphones have a task light in it cool awesome two piece and our phones do so much for us anyways and they're always on us anyways so I'm not gonna carry a really dim light when I can carry my phone for that and use my my carry light or my handheld for real action stuff, or at least for observing my surroundings and not trying to use my phone like I saw a bunch of people doing on Halloween. So, <laughs> little tangent. Um, going down uh, the the line of things, right? Um, the other few things that I carry are my phone, um, which I carry in this side pocket kind of thing that I carry in most of my pants, and um, and in my back pockets I usually don't carry much. Uh, mainly because I don't like to sit on things that aren't my, my buttocks. Also, it makes my butt look funny. No, I'm kidding. But mainly it's because I don't like to sit on things. Um, uh, every once in a while when I'm walking around, I may slip my phone into my back pocket or something like that uh, while I'm walking, and then when I sit down, I pull it out. But the uh, overall premise is I, I don't like to keep things in my back pocket. I, I don't feel like it's safe. People can pickpocket that stuff real easy. Um, main reason why I keep a, a wallet in my front pocket but um, for, for you guys to know, uh, that's kind of what I carry on me. Uh, my sunglasses, my keys are also there too. But something I like to talk about with, with everyday carry stuff is, is the progression of it, right? We're always, we're always evolving and you can see that in the video, a few of the light, uh, the light and the wallet and things like that have changed over time. Um, my tools have changed, my, my gun orientation and the holsters have changed. A, a lot of things change with your ideology and the way you see things and the way your lifestyle takes you. One of the things I used to do was not carry a spare mag. I used to carry my Glock 19 at four o'clock with no light, no RMR. It was really, really just bare bones. And I actually carried a fixed blade and a folder, but no tool. And, uh, and, and I carried a handheld light, but it was really small. And so it was a lot of useless, not useless stuff, but it was minimal stuff. And the problem with that ended up being that I needed other things and I wanted to enhance my abilities to do different things. So whether it's offensive, defensive, or medical tools, I wanted to get all those things together and really make a good carry uh, or everyday carry for me. I also supplement all this stuff with a bag that I carry most days. It stays in my car or goes with me into places depending on what I'm doing. Um, and you can see that stuff in my article that's in, uh, in my bag or talking about my bag. But overall, uh, I hope this helps. Um, think about what you carry. Make sure it's something that makes sense. All right. Um, don't just fill your pockets with nonsense, but also don't just minimize everything to the point where you don't have enough for things that you may need. Also, if you're that guy that keeps asking for some kind of tool from your buddy that you know has that tool, so get that tool. So just remember, make decisions and choose things that make sense in your life. Don't just pick things to fill your pockets for no reason. So hope this helps. Uh, if you guys want, go down and below. You'll see the links for different gear that I talked about. Also links to my website, different training things, and also my blog that you can read the article on all this. Um, also, you'll find some affiliate links. So enjoy that. Um, go shopping knowing that you're helping out somebody else too, uh, because as I'm always doing, trying to help others, you should probably do the same because it's the right thing to do.